Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative condition where the brain cells die over time, causing memory loss and confusion. There are currently no drugs which slow or prevent Alzheimer's disease, partly because we don't fully understand what causes the brain cells to die. However, evidence is building that inflammation is a crucial contributing factor to Alzheimer's disease progression. Inflammation is a response by your immune system. You can think of your immune system as the tools of your body, protecting you by getting rid of bugs and clearing up damaged tissue. The only problem is that some of the tools of your immune system cause collateral damage and can do more harm than good. It is these damaging tools that play a major role in the development of Alzheimer's disease. Our research wanted to test existing safe drugs to see if we could find one which could diffuse the explosives without affecting the rest of the tools. To do this, we tested lots of drugs on cells growing in a dish and found one currently used drug called methanamic acid inhibited the kinds of inflammation we think contribute to Alzheimer's disease. Now that we found this drug using cells, we wanted to test it in something more related to the actual disease in people. To do this, we used mice which have genes similar to those found in rare and heritable forms of Alzheimer's disease. Just like Alzheimer's patients, these mice lose their memory over time. We took 20 mice and we gave half methanamic acid and half placebo for 28 days. We found that where the placebo mice had very poor memory and inflammation in the brain, the methanamic acid treated mice had perfectly normal memory and no explosives wreaking havoc in their brains. But how do we test the memory of a mouse? In our study, we utilize the fact that mice like to explore new objects. But to a mouse with poor memory, every object seems new. Imagine going to a car park and seeing a Ford Fiesta parked next to an alien spaceship. You would spend more time exploring the spaceship. But if you didn't remember what a car was, you would be equally amazed by the Ford Fiesta and spend the same time exploring both. So by timing how long a mouse spends exploring the new object compared to the one it's familiar with, we can measure whether the mouse can remember the object it has already seen. This is promising early stage research, but before we know how effective it is in Alzheimer's patients, much more needs to be done. Research like this relies on fantastic charities like the Alzheimer's Society and Alzheimer's Research UK, so a huge thank you to them. I'm Michael Daniels. And I'm Jack Riversorti. And we research in Dr. David Bruff's lab at the University of Manchester.